Welcome back to another episode of the most highly requested video on the channel, Rating My Subscriber Snowmobiles. You guys have absolutely blown up my DMs with over 70 requests to get sleds rated for the videos. If you guys want your sled featured in the next episode of Rating My Subscriber Snowmobiles, there are two things you gotta do that are easy and free. Number one, make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you know when I upload the next episode of Rating My Subscriber Snowmobiles. And number two, head over to my Instagram, I'm gonna throw it up on the screen right here, and send me a DM with a picture of your sled and what's done to it. And just like that, you are entered for the next episode of Rating My Subscriber Snowmobiles. Like I mentioned, we have over 70 sleds submitted for this video. So obviously we will not get through all 70 today. Before we get to rating sleds, I do want to say a quick thank you to each and every one of you for the recent insane amount of support you guys have been giving me in the channel. I seriously mean it when I say the support you guys have been giving me on the channel recently is absolutely life-changing and I can't thank you guys enough for it. With all that being said, let's get to rating some sleds. We are kicking today's video off with Mr. Evan. Evan has for us a 2017 Polaris SKS 800 155, has 2,500 miles on it, SLP competition can, and Fox float shocks. Now, let me say something, this color scheme is absolutely gorgeous. Back in 17 when this came out, a friend of ours ordered a Pro S in this color and it was like the most pretty sled I've ever seen. The blue looks so good on the snow and I can see you got a blue front bumper on there. I believe that's a Polaris factory front bumper. And yeah, dude, this sled looks absolutely sick. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an eight. <laughs> Next up, we got Goucher. He has for us a 2014 Pro MK 800-163. Has an NPP exhaust. Sounds great, which it does. A knee pads, diamond LED light bar. Never had a problem with it. Goes everywhere his dad's turbo sled goes. And your sled looks sick, dude. I like the light bar mounted on the handlebars. I've actually never seen that before. And I think if you do like a headlight delete or one of those helium aftermarket hoods that don't have headlights, this would be a great option for a source of light at night. And your sled looks sweet, bro. I love the color scheme. It's kind of like a retro color scheme. I had something similar to that back in the day. I'm gonna go ahead and give this sled a eight. Next up, we got Alex here, and Alex got lucky and got a Matrix Assault. So he is one of the very few people that have taken delivery of a snow check, and he went with the murdered out Matrix Assault 850. I believe that is a 146. And yeah, it looks absolutely killer, dude. I bet you can't wait to get out on that sled if you haven't already. Uh, as soon as you get out on that, let me know what you think of the Matrix Assault. I got a friend that's looking to get one and he just wants to know how they ride and how it does off trail, on trail, all that good stuff. Uh, absolutely killer sled, bro. Congrats on the snow check and being one of the few to take delivery of it. I'm going to give this sled a nine. Next up, we got Sledhead 8 and he has for us a Yamaha. Now, we usually don't get too many Yamis on the channel, but this one's pretty sick. He says it's a supercharger and a Hawk exhaust. So, supercharger on the thing. It's got to haul. That thing's got to fly. I see you got the whole flame decal thing going. Now, it's not really my personal taste. I wouldn't do it on any of my sleds, but you have it done nicely with the hood, side panels, and windshield, so it all kind of flows. I see you. looks like you have some yellow handguards maybe on there with yellow A-arms. So, you got a whole little color scheme thing going here. Clean sled, man. I'm going to go give this one a seven and a half. Next up, we got Gavin, and Gavin has for us an RMK Edge 600, 144 with a two-inch track and everything else in stock. Now, dude, these sleds, I actually just saw one of these on Facebook Marketplace for a deal, and I, like, considered buying it for a video to compare this sled to my Pro now, just do, like, a little comparison video, just because of how far these RMKs have come in the last 10 years. Like, it is crazy to see the difference between this is what, like, Polaris' flagship mountain sled was compared to what, like, we're riding now with their flagship mountain sleds. I'd love to throw a leg over this and just just to see what like back in like 02 what it was like to buy and ride a Polaris mountain sled. Now the sled looks sick. I always like this body style of sled and you got the two inch track with the 144 which is probably an equivalent to our like 275, 155s we run nowadays. And yeah dude it's just a super cool sled. Nice little throwback. I'm definitely giving this sled an 8. So we got Josh with another Yamaha. He's got a 1998 Yamaha Venture 700 triple with aftermarket hand grips and a race tune and race valves. And he's hoping to put an aftermarket exhaust on it. He said he got it for free and it's in perfect condition. And dude, to get a sled for free that's in great condition and runs, you just don't, doesn't happen very often. So you guys super lucky on getting this sled and it looks clean, like you said, man. It looks like it's in perfect shape, maybe missing a windshield or something. But other than that, dude, super clean. And you throw an exhaust on it with the 700 triple, it's going to sound absolutely wicked. I'm giving this sled a 7.5. Next up, we got Joa with a 1997 Skidoo MXZ670 with a new Comet clutch. I bought it off my dad a year ago and absolutely love this sled. And, dude, it is an awesome-looking sled. It looks to be in great shape. Besides the tear in the seat, which you could easily fix that with, like, a seat cover or even maybe find a replacement seat off a part-out sled. 
but it looks to be a sweet sled, looks to be in good shape. And if you threw an exhaust on that thing, it would sound absolutely wicked. Clean sled, man, I'm gonna go and give it a seven and a half. Next up, we got Lane. He's got two sleds for us. We're gonna start off with the Skidoo MXZ. He said it has a snow stack rumble pack bored out to be like a 550. So it's probably a 500 to start, bored to a 550, and it sounds insane, and I bet that thing absolutely rips. This sled is gonna get an eight. And now he has another cool little sled here, which is a 96 Yamaha XL340, but it sounds absolutely incredible. He said it's just pretty much stock, but dude, it looks sick. Like, that'd be such a fun sled to throw, like, a 144 on and make it, like, an old-school, like, rat rod mountain sled. I think you should do that with this sled. I think it'd be super cool. Clean sled, bro. Like, I mean, it's it's rough, but it's clean. I like that concept. I like where you're going with it. And I think it has huge potential to be a really sick project. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 7. Next up, we got Ryland, and he has a 2015 Skidoo Summit 600 146 with a GGB trail can. Now, back years ago, me and my friends went to the UP, and we rented this exact sled, the Summit 146 600. And that thing had some balls, man. I mean, it picked up the skis on command. It was pretty nimble and pretty quick for being a 600 146. It was an awesome sled. Like, I honestly enjoyed riding it when I rode it. Uh, clean sled, man. I like the all black look. I, if I were you, I'd throw a little pop of color in there. Maybe like some A-arms or ski loops or a windshield or grips or something. Just throw a little pop of color in there and make it more unique and make it yours. But other than that, man, clean sled. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8. Next up, we got Jeremiah, and he sent me three sleds with no context, but we got three sleds to look at. So it looks like we got two Articat ZRs, if I'm not mistaken. Like I said, I don't really know Articat that well, but I'm pretty sure those are two ZRs. They look identical, and they look from the picture mint. One's got a skid plate, one doesn't. And it looks like we're looking at an older, I think that's a Yamaha, or maybe a Skidoo. It might be an older Skidoo. Yeah, definitely a Skidoo, not a Yamaha. To the left. Um, cool little collection of sleds, man. They look extremely clean. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give this collection of sleds here collectively an 8. Next up, we got Adam here with a 95 Articat 580 EXT. And he says for how old it is, she's pretty reliable. And yeah, she definitely looks like she's seen some better days. She's a little dirty. I think it just needs a cleaning. But the old Articats, dude, like the, the purple and the green and the orange, you know, like everyone had the old Articat gear that matched the sled. And she's such a throwback sled, man. And it looks, it looks to be in pretty good shape. Looks to be a fun sled. I would definitely give this sled a 7. Next up, we got Maximum. I think you pronounced her name Maximum. I'm not sure. I'm sorry if I butchered that. But he has a 2013 Articat 800 XF. Not much done to it. It's his grandpa's sleds. He wants to make it look a little better and lots of upgrades coming soon for the season. Now you got a great starting platform here and orange is always a great color scheme. Orange and black and your sled's pretty black so you could do a lot with this sled. Upgrades, I'd go with like a solid orange windshield, orange grips, orange bumpers and maybe even like throw in a wrap, dude. I mean, you got it all black on the panels and hood. If you threw a wrap on there, it'd look really sick. Either way, man, sweet sled, great sled, great project sled. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8. Next up, we got Canadian Life 3.3. So he has for us a 2011 Crossfire 800 HO. Has CNA skis, new Fox flows all around, 09 limited graphics, mountain seat, Jaws exhaust, Ice Age suspension, aftermarket fat bars and riser, headlight cover, new windshield, LED taillight, brand new 2.5 lug with 141 inch track, brand new MCB top end kit, vent kit, skid plate, clutch kits in both clutches, upgrade ECU and aftermarket bar pad. He said he bought it on his own at 16 years old. Now that is what I like to hear, man. Congrats on buying this on your own. It's a huge accomplishment when you get to buy your own stuff and not have your parents buy it for you. And it's a great feeling also to be able to know you own your stuff and you paid for that. That's your sled. So honestly, man, huge ups on that. Congrats. And this sled is pretty damn built, dude. I mean, it's built. It's got a lot done to it. I bet it's an absolute ripper out on the trails of the backcountry wherever you ride it. This sled is going to get an eight and a half. So we got Bill and I, the Russian spy, and he has a 99, 2000, and 2001 Frankenstein sled, half Indy, half RMK, 800 powered twin PSI pipes, full custom tunnel bars, LED lights, custom fabricated fuel can holder, leather jacket seat patch, and full-blown ditch pickle. And it looks like a pickle with that color scheme, man. And it sounds absolutely insane. He said he doesn't really know the track length, think it's a 151. But dude, that is such a sick sled. I don't know, dude. Just like having it as a ditch ripper when you got no snow around the house or whatever. It's such a unique build. So cool. And it'd be a really fun sled to have. I, I like the green. I'm not going to lie. I'm a fan of green on sleds. You got the green and yellow thing going on with her. And yeah, dude, it's pretty sick. I'm gonna go ahead and give this sled an eight.
Next up, we got Riley with a 2010 M8. It has 2,700 miles on it, and he just bought it a month ago. Now, that is a super clean sled and low miles for the year. 2,700 miles for a 2010. That's damn good. And the sled looks damn good itself. The orange, black, and white. Sick looking color scheme. Great mountain sled. I think these are one of the great starter mountain sleds. I put it in a video a while back saying like to buy one of these if you're looking to get in the mountain sleds. And yeah, dude, this sled looks pretty clean. I bet it's a fun sled to ride. And I'm going to go ahead and give this one a seven and a half. So we got Mr. Daniel with a 2018 SKS 155. He's got RSI handlebars, divine ink wrap, GGB mountain can, custom colors all over, and a shortened tunnel. So we got a SKS 155 with a shortened tunnel. Absolutely sick. It looks like you got aftermarket rails, unless I'm just not familiar with the SKS rails, but it looks like aftermarket rails. I see the aftermarket rear bumper, front bumper. Everything's kind of pink to match in your color scheme vents. Dude, this sled is absolutely sick, and it looks like a blast to ride, especially with the shortened tunnel on an SKS. I know how those SKSs like to lift the front end up. Clean ass sled, man. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a nine. Now, unfortunately, we only have time for one more sled in today's episode, and the lucky, last but not least sled is going to be Johnny. Johnny has for us a 2020 SKS 146, has an Octane Ink Wrap, Zebros front end, and MBRP trail can. Now, the wrap is so, so unique, bro. I have never seen someone do these color schemes on a sled. The burgundy, black, and kind of like an orange, just like, I don't know, sunset orange, maybe, if you want to call it, burnt orange. But, dude, I have never seen someone do that color scheme on a sled, and I dig it, man. It looks sick. I see you got the Zebros front end. Now, did you go with a narrower front end or like what size front end did you put on this sled? And you also have an Octane Ink wrap, which is my favorite wrap company. I run Octane Ink and I know a few buddies up north that run Octane Ink and everyone absolutely loves them. So your sled is sick, wrap is sick. I am gonna give you a nine. Unfortunately, that is gonna be it for today's episode of Rating My Subscriber Snowmobiles. Like I mentioned before, if you want your sled featured in the next episode of Rating My Subscriber Snowmobiles, all you gotta do is seriously just make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss when I upload an episode. And head over to my Instagram, I'm gonna throw it up on the screen, send me a DM with a picture of your sled and what's done to it and we will get it in the next episode. With all that being said, if you guys like today's video, make sure to smash a huge thumbs up on today's video. In the comments below, let me know what your favorite sled of the day was. And like I always say, if you're new here or you've been watching for a while and you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.